Welcome to another video in a series about SQL basics. My name's Adrian and I'll be your tutor. Today we'll talk about nulls in SQL. Perhaps you have already worked with nulls. This video, however, will explain in detail what nulls actually are and how they behave in SQL. Let's get started. In general terms, a null in SQL means it is unknown or missing. This is extremely important to remember. A null does not mean zero or empty. It means we don't know what the value is. That's a huge difference, as you will see later on in this video. Suppose we've got a simple table named lecturer with a few rows that you can now see on the screen. There are some nulls and we'll try to filter on them. First of all, you must remember to never use the equals or not equal to operations with nulls. They won't work. Let's see that in practice. We'll try to find lecturers with null ages. First, we'll try to use the following query that you can now see on the screen. Select star from lecturer where age equals null. When we run the query, we'll get an empty result set, even though we wanted to see the two lecturers that have nulls in the age column. As we said, that's because null does not work with equals and not equal to operators. If equals and not equal to don't work, what can we do to filter on nulls? We need to use special keywords, is null or is not null. Let's see how that works in practice. Again, we want to look for lecturers that do have a null in the age column. We'll use the following query. Select star from lecturer where age is null. We can see two lecturers in the results set, Smith and Poe. We are missing Adam McKenzie as he did have an integer value in the age column. We know he is 35 years old, so he's not shown in here. In a similar way, we now want to only show lecturers with a non-null first name, so we can use the following code. Select star from lecturer where first name is not null. If we run the query, we can see that the lecturer with ID 1 and last name Smith is not shown, as this person has a null in the first name column. There is also one more very important thing you should know about nulls. Any comparison operation that includes a null results in a null. Sounds vague? Let's see an example. Again, we've got our lecturer table. Now we'd like to show only those lecturers that are over 32 years old. So we write a very simple query. Select star from lecturer where age greater than 32. Now, if we run the query, you can see that we only get a single row in the resulting set. That's because in the other two rows, we had a null in the age column. That means the database doesn't know what the age is for these people. And when you compare the age of 32 to a null age, which is unknown, you get a null answer. Such rows are never shown. Nulls can be a bit tricky to work with. To sum up, you should remember that there are special commands to filter nulls. Is null and is not null. You should also keep in mind that any arithmetic operation that includes a null returns a null result. You should now know how to work with nulls in SQL. Good job! Remember to leave a comment or a thumbs up if you liked the video. Let's learn SQL together.